Hello, I'm Otmar Ebenhoek, uh, coming to you from sunny Oregon in the springtime. I've got a quick update on the what I'm calling the Tesfalia project. That's the uh, Westfalia Vanagon with Tesla running gear. So, um, let's see, one of the first things uh, that I wanted to do is get the motor mounted and the drive shaft and the rear hubs going to use the Tesla hubs and brakes. And that's that's got a lot of unknowns and I wanted to clarify these unknowns before I get really committed to it. So uh, where a lot of people would be using CAD and putting everything into the digital system, uh, I use my own version of CAD, you know, caffeine augmented design and just some wood tape, wire, measuring tape, whatever I've got to kind of get through these things and get the basics figured out as to offsets and clearances and see if the system's going to work. Um, so this is the van, this blue van is the one I'll be ending up with, but uh, rather than tear that one apart, I'm test fitting things on this red parts van that I have, which, uh, which is nice because it makes it real easy to remove the springs, um, work with the suspension and, and really check things out. So let me see if I can, oh, it doesn't want to flip during playing, I don't think. Nope, it doesn't. All right, so we'll work just with the camera as it is. Uh, here we have, camera adjust, we have the rear axle assembly, the rear trailing arm, and I've taken the spring out here so that I can move it full travel, all the way up and all the way down. Uh, last night I went and worked on that, um, put the wheel on the original hub, put the Tesla wheel on the original hub, check for clearances, maybe I'll drop a picture or two in here, and, uh, and determined that the offset from this surface to the mounting surface of the wheel needs to be about 65 millimeters. And so with that information, I was able to uh, take a look at the, the, the bearing assembly, the, the disc, all that, that we'll look at in a minute, and check for brake clearance and see that that's all going to fit. So I'm, I'm confident that's gonna work. Now there's a huge unknown, and that is that uh, this, this trailing arm is pretty deep. And even on the Volkswagen, the drive shaft gets really close to hitting the hole on the inner side um, when you're at extreme uh, travel of the suspension. So what you see here is a little bit of welding wire, some electrical conduit, holding the conduit centered where the future center of the CV joint is going to end up. So this is the pivot point for the axle. The conduit is doubling as an axle just for measurement's sake. Then, uh, let's see, let's work our way around inside, get underneath, and, uh, and so here I've put up a piece of wood uh, with a C-clamp that's giving me the actual accurate location of where the inner CV joint pivot is going to end up, uh, you know, from the motor by using, measuring the motor and looking at the center distances and all that and how high I'm gonna mount it and all that. So then with that all done, I was able to, uh, let's get a better view, um, run the suspension all the way to its extreme level. Let's see if we can see it now. Boy, I can't even see the screen, there's so much glare. Um, so right about here, this is the gap right up here that I was concerned about. And this, this axle, this fake axle, is actually three millimeters smaller than the original. And we've got over six millimeters here and we're at the bottom of the travel. So what that tells me is it's gonna work. And that my uh, mounting position, I don't need to mount the motor any lower, which I don't wanna do because of the, uh, the ground clearance issues. Uh, it's already almost the, you know, along with the lowest part of all the vehicle being at the height that the original uh, gas engine was at. Um, so yeah, that was the critical thing. Uh, while I got you, I'm going to go in and show you the motor and the uh, hub and brake and what I was doing there. Uh, here we go, come on into the shop. And here we have uh, a Tesla hub and disc brake rotor assembly. We have the uh, Volkswagen hub assembly that I use to compare all the measurements and check stuff. 
Uh, we have a Tesla parking brake, which the tail end of it might still be awfully close to the spring and the, and the trailing arm, so I'm not sure how that's going to fit yet. Might have to clock it around a bit. I uh, got a Tesla axle here uh, for measurements and, of course, uh, a Tesla drive unit. Now, this is not the one going in my car. This is for a, the other conversion project that we're working on here at my shop. But um, real handy to have this right here and be able to measure all the distances and offsets and the heights uh, to clarify that. So that's our quick update, and uh, we'll catch you next time. <laughs>